one of the biggest struggles for veterans when they transition back into civilian life is maintaining a sense of purpose and a sense of belonging because when you're serving, you have a lot of structure in your life and you never really have a lot of question about where you fall in the big picture of things, your position within a team, within an organization, your sense of purpose. Um, that's all neatly packaged for people in the military and then when you get out into the civilian world there's a big lack of that and so a lot of veterans sort of lose their way trying to reintegrate into civilian society and it's it's critically important for both the mental health and quality of life of veterans to be able to find a sense of purpose within their community um, and I think the Veterans Farm is a good bridge between military service and being out in the community as, as a civilian and, and as a citizen because we can bring together veterans who've struggled and we all kind of share our stories with each other. Um, we become sort of a listening ear and a shoulder to lean on. If, if one of us is struggling, the rest of us just kind of, you know, rally around whoever's having a struggle and we help, a, help each other, we lift each other up. Um, we give each other a sense of purpose and a sense of community. There have been a lot of, of studies, peer-reviewed studies in, in scientific and medical journals that attest to what's called horticulture therapy, the therapeutic aspect of gardening or farming. Um, it's, it's well known that being able to be outside, getting fresh air um, and interacting with, with nature, with the environment is, is highly therapeutic. And, and I think what we're doing here is we're creating a space where veterans can feel safe to be themselves, to express themselves in, you know, in an environment that's not only physically open, but sort of emotionally and socially open. 